Good morning, Lionhearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. We are at Los Angeles International Airport and we are going international. Yep, we're going to Guadalajara for a few days. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Let's get our boarding pass. Here we go. Friends, welcome to Guadalajara. We have a full day of things planned today. Yeah, I really love the design of this hotel. All right, this is where I'm staying. I highly recommend it. Now let's go to the Cathedral of Guadalajara. Take a look at that iguana up there. The bikes have taken over today. I love the architecture. Very Art Nouveau. So here you can see one of the old fashioned horse taxis. So here we can see the Welcome to Guadalajara sign. They always have the city signs in pretty much every city in Mexico that I've been to. And then a statue of Father Hidalgo, who we talked about when we went to Guanajuato because he led the, the rebellion against Spain. That's a horseless taxi. And there's the cathedral we're looking for. What a beauty, look at that dome, all the yellow and white in there. Now check out the gazebo in this plaza. I love the pillars, they're women. And that magnificent building is the government building. So if you look up there above the bell on the government building that I was just showing you, Look up there where the clock is. You can see a bullet hole from 1915. Let's go up and... And on the other side is the cathedral I want to go check out. walked in here and take a look at this nativity scene. Take a look at that fountain. Now that's what we were looking for. Kind of connected to the church we just went in. It's right to the side of it. Y que está lleno de la fuerza y el poder del Espíritu, y que es para nosotros de verdad el Hijo de Dios. Que así sea. Then I believe this is Rotunda Plaza, and all of the statues that surround it are all people that are either you know, notable in some way, artists, politician, something from Guadalajara. Here you can see a cannon. So this is Jose Clemente Orozco and this is the painter who painted the inside of the church that we're looking for. You notice he only has one hand. Okay, so apparently I was wrong. It's not in a church, it's in a former hospital orphanage. So that's what we're looking for. It's the Institute of the Cultural Cabanas. 
So take a look at this thing. You can actually climb around the back and get in the top of the head where the tree's coming out. And stick your head in its nose, apparently. See, she's sitting in the air. And there's the staircase. Kind of a cool little art thing here. So I guess a lot of people over time complained about the cruelty and the heat to the horses, so now they have horseless taxis. There's a statue to hero Beatrice Hernandez. And take a look at this fountain over here. It's pretty incredible. That's a lot of peeing and spitting going on. Oh, this tree is great. This reminds me of being in Madrid where the bears eating the strawberries out of the tree, except these are lions under the tree. It's kind of unique. They have a bunch of these little kid cars and the kids just hop in them and get a ride around. Actually, I think what we're looking for is straight ahead. So look at this sitting area, how artistic it is. Look at what's on the seat. And then just feet. And then look at this one. Here it is, Museo Cabanas. And here we are. Let's go take a look at some beautiful frescoes. Well, as soon as we walk in, take a look. Wow, look at that. And of course, this is all depicting well, most of it's the revolution. Isn't that incredible? He painted this all with one hand. Absolutely one of the most incredible artists I've ever seen. Style all into his own. Well, I just picked up that new skull bracelet right there. About five bucks. Take a look at this church. And all the like festive ornamentation inside. Take a look at this church. Not only for the front. Then take a look at the side. It's like a bull head. And that's a little cherub head blowing. 
This is awesome. I think King Crimson would have loved this. Take a look at that. Now this is the University of Guadalajara. I want to come by and take a look at this because of the two lions out front. So if you're wondering what the ultimate goal is today, I'm trying to get to the dead center of Guadalajara. There's an amazing fountain there with a statue in the middle that I want to check out. So one of the things I read was that a lot of the houses around here used to be old 1910s and 20s mansions that have been converted into shops and restaurants and bars. But look at this one. This one's still an old mansion. Look at that. But then literally right next door, you start seeing galleries and restaurants. Look at that window. Yeah, take a look at this mansion. No longer a mansion. I mean, it is, but it's not. Take a look at that, man. Woo! And here's another one. And I kid you not, this is now Los Pancakes. I have no idea what that elephant's doing over there by Chili's. Take a look at that. And here's the Ark of Guadalajara, stamped 1539. Beautiful. Well, we found it. Here is the fountain, and it says justice, wisdom, and fortitude for all. Really great. This is kind of the center point here. What a more perfect statue to have here. Well, I guess we found the selfie zone, and it also happens to be in the busiest circle in all of town. So we can't get any closer than this. She's known as the custodian of the city. All right, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed our first day in Guadalajara. We're going to call it a day. Thank you, Andrea Smith, Forbes, and Marlene for becoming my newest Patreons. Thank you all for watching. Come back next time because we won't be in Guadalajara. We'll be outside the city checking out some different towns, so you'll love it. Have a great night, everyone. Goodbye.